Well, everybody wins from playing the game and hearing all these, you know, different scenarios oh, and yeah, 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 thinking yeah. back in time about how they did what they did when they did it. Mm -hmm. You know. Watching my parents throwing parties. I drink alcohol left, lying around, and pretend to be cleaning mm -hmm. up. I've become an adolescent drunk. Advice given. I feel grown up. The adults drink and get giddy, and so do I. With my friends, we encourage one another to steal alcohol from our parents. Thank you. Okay, my problem is I feel weak. And it seems there's is blood in my toilet stool. Sometimes stomach pains double me up and I groan and I'm unable to move. Advice given, my drinking friends tell me to go to the emergency room. They say I look sick. Oops. <laughs> Advice taken, no. I fell unconscious in the street and came to in a hospital medical ward. That's yeah, true. That's that. Oh, yeah, medical unit. Uh, oh, hospital. Yeah, there you go. Advice given. Friends instruct me to drink more slowly, and that reefer and cocaine will really mellow me out. Okay. Advice taken. Uh, now, um, alcohol for me had never really been a problem. I didn't think I could take it or leave it. But uh, I found out when she died that I needed something stronger. Alcohol was not doing it. So I don't know if you would call this a gateway drug or not for me. But I was introduced to heroin. And uh, they said it would make all my severe pain and everything go away. Now, um, it caused me a great deal of grief, hospitalizations, uh, mental wards, um, ODs. But... If I had been exposed to a, a game like this or some of the counselors where I went had a game like this available and we could have played it and it would have helped me or I hear the, the other players, it would have helped me kind of come to grips with the things that were bothering me. Like you said about problems in, on your card with uh, things that stemmed as a child that I really didn't know that were bothering me until um, I got clean. And what you find that this game pushes people to talk honestly about some stuff they ordinarily yeah. keep secret, you know, they you go. blurt it out, you know, and then it might cause someone else at the table to say, well, I had a similar mm -hmm. mind went like this, and they'll mm -hmm. go kind of away from the game talking about some real experiences, yes. you know, before they return back to the game. I think it's important for adolescents and children to understand life's ups and downs and choices and decisions as early as possible. And I agree that had I been given an opportunity to maybe play this at a younger age, it would have given me much more information and understanding of choices. Like I said, choice and consequence to the extent that I would have thought more about some of the choices I made. And as in the field that I'm working in with counseling and addiction and different things like that, what we look for is preventive measures. Mm -hmm. So this is a tool for prevention, intervention, and it should be extended to treatment centers, jails, institutions. Yes. I'm trying to work with some college professors and different individuals in the recovery field and different areas even in the public schools mm -hmm. where it could be used as an effective intervention tool.